agencies, government systems. In a new twist of events, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said Cabinet reached this decision after considering the activities of the last few months and days. We also felt that some of these agencies of government are conducting themselves by making, making uh, their uh, work and jobs uh, by trying to conduct it through a media campaign, through the internet, and continuous leak of uh, investigations that have been conducted. So today, Cabinet decided that we will disband the task force sweep. Task force sweep has been heavily compromised, heavily criticized. The, it has been noted uh, very carefully that there have been constant visits by politicians to this office. There has been heavy meetings uh, have been going on through this office to try and uh, influence the investigations that are going through there. Uh, it has been brought to our attention that uh, uh, there's been constant leaks of investigations currently going on through the media, which has enabled us to uh, uh, take this action today. All investigations currently being handled by ITFs, including the Paraka Meta, where the Prime Minister has been implicated, will now be transferred to police to continue on from where ITF has left. There is no stopping of the investigations. All the investigations are going back to the police and that all the other officers who are not uh, policemen and women and who are trying to become police commissioners, who want to become prosecutors, who want to become the judge and jury, should go back to that respective role that they came from. He said while this announcement coincides with the matters surrounding his arrest, he claims ITFs has been compromised, citing regular visits by politicians to this office at hard hours of the night. Mr. O'Neill further said the anti-corruption body ICAC, which is soon to be established, will take over most of the administrative functions of ITFs, while the police will concentrate on investigations. Most employees working with ITF as a government employees, including the chairman, Sam Coim, and O'Neill said they will return to their respective departments as employees of the state. In the meantime, when asked if he will voluntarily go in for questioning, as the matter has now been transferred to police, he said he's always been available for interviews. I have never been uh, invited to go in there except that they've issued me a warrant. Now, warrants are issued to people who are on the run, who, are, who, are, who have got court orders and they're not complying with court orders. Uh, and I'm very certain after the uh, issues are dealt with, with, the, uh, with the, by the court on Wednesday next week, I've always made myself available for any interviews of any, any nature. So uh, I see no reason why I cannot engage with the police sports squad or anybody for that matter. Ruth Rungola, National MTV News.